Subscribe to Anu's Food Cart. Click on the bell icon and select the option All to get notification whenever I post a new video. Hello friends, welcome to Anu's Food Cart. Today I'm here to share the recipe of simple Kerala style fish curry. This is really going to be spicy, but you can adjust the spice level according to your taste. Without any further delay, let us quickly jump into the recipe. Here I have 500 grams of fish. I have taken 500 grams of lady fish and cleaned it up really well. You can take any white fleshed fish like uh, pink perch, red snapper, etc. Two pieces of gamboos soaked in three tablespoons of water. One and a half tablespoons of Kashmiri chilli powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Two teaspoons of black pepper powder. A teaspoon of salt. 8 to 10 cloves of crushed garlic 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds 3 sprigs of curry leaves 1 tablespoon of edible coconut oil and 1 and a half cups of water Heat a pan on low flame Add Kashmiri chilli powder, turmeric powder and dry roast for 30 seconds. You don't have to wait until the raw smell completely goes away. Just heat it up for some time and then turn off the flame. Take cleaned fish into an earthen pot and turn the flame to medium. I have used lady fish here but you can also use fishes like pink perch or red snapper. Please do not use sea fish, kingfish, mackerel or uh, sardine for this recipe because uh, those fishes doesn't taste good when prepared this way. Add dry roasted powders to the fish. Add black pepper powder, a teaspoon of salt and one and a half cups of water to the pot. You can also make it in a normal pan but I always love to cook it in an earthen pot because it adds a nice flavor to the curry. Mix it well and let it come to a boil. Lift the pot and swirl it to mix so that the fish stay unbroken. Do not use spatula or spoon to mix it once the fish starts to cook as it might just deform the fish pieces which we don't want. Now add the soaked gamboge pieces along with the water. Gambush has lots of health benefits. It is also called as Malabar Tamarind, Pot Tamarind or Fish Tamarind because it is commonly used in Kerala fish recipes. It not just gives sourness but also adds a beautiful smoky flavor to the gravy. Please don't mistake it with the kokum because kokum is dried mangosteen whereas gambush is dried and smoked brindleberry. Now coming back to the recipe, add lots of curry leaves. I have added about 2 sprigs of it. Now lift the pot and swirl it as shown in the video so that everything is combined well. Cook it for another 10 minutes so that the fish cooks. Do you see here the fish has really cooked well. Now add the remaining curry leaves, swirl the pot and turn off the flame. Now let us prepare a thadka or tempering for the curry. I have added a lot of curry leaves in this recipe because I just love the flavor of it but if you do not like the flavor just add little bit but please don't avoid it. Heat a small pan on medium flame and add coconut oil to it. Try to use coconut oil in this recipe because it tastes awesome. Add mustard seeds once the oil is hot and let it splutter well. Once the crackling sound subsides, add crushed garlic and mix well. Cook until it is golden brown and turn off the flame. 
Add it to the fish curry, spread it well and keep it covered for some time before you use. Our fish curry is now ready to serve. Please try out this recipe at your home guys, I'm sure all fish lovers will definitely love it. Make this curry at least 4 hours before you consume so that all the flavors get into the fish well and it tastes amazing. It goes excellently well with steamed rice and mashed tapioca. I hope you all will try out this recipe at home and let me know through the comment section below how it turned out for you. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for many more such amazing recipes. Also click on the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. I'll catch you guys with another yummy recipe. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. And please don't forget to subscribe. And basa can be used. Yes, basa tastes awesome. Please add a little bit. Please, what?